I just got back from a run, and uh, all I could think about while I was out was a Facebook post that I saw last night before I went to bed, and at that point it had been shared, I think, 212 times, so it's, it's making the rounds here in Belize, and it's about an issue that is worldwide, domestic violence, and it's huge problem all around the world, not just here in Belize. This particular post is one put up by a mother, and she posted two photographs, one of her daughter's injuries and one of the perpetrator. Her daughter was beaten in the face with a broken bottle. She had to have 25 stitches. And as I was reading through the comments, I found out that within one hour after pressing charges, this young lady was talked out of going through with it. She dropped the charges. She went back to the abuser. Something that his mother said to her caused her to leave her own mother's house and go back with his mother to go back to him. This perpetrator needs anger management help. And this young lady needs to be healed from her injuries, and not just her physical injuries, but the emotional and spiritual ones as well. I don't know what his mother said to her that made her go back, but I have a married son, and I would never allow my son to treat my daughter-in-law that way. I would never tolerate that. So. That's one piece of it that's heartbreaking for me. The other piece of it that's heartbreaking is that she chose to drop the charges and go back to him. And I, I just, my heart goes out to this young lady's mother. I can't imagine what it must be like to watch this playing out in your daughter's life. Something needs to change. This cycle of violence has to come to an end. Abuse is not love. That's my biggest message. That's all I can say is abuse is not love. If he loves you, he won't beat you. If he loves you, he will not lay his hands on you. I understand that people get angry. He can walk away. He could have thrown that bottle on the ground. He didn't have to use it on her face. There are so many choices, so many different ways to handle anger, and that is not love. That's not what you do to the people that you love. We've got to make some changes. This is a heartbreaking situation that just keeps getting played out every day all around the world. Something has to change. This violence has to come to an end, and we need to figure it out together because this violence has to stop.